All right. Tonight, going to talk about one of my all-time favorite shows. This is one of this is one of the first shows, if not the very first show on Nickelodeon back in 1979. You can't do that on television, and it ran on primetime throughout the 80s and ended in the early 90s. Before South Park, before Family Guy, before The Simpsons, this show would test the boundaries, test the waters, so to speak. They'd make jokes about that were borderline dirty, shall we say. And as a kid in the 80s, and still to this day, the one thing that I'm absolutely surprised they got away with was a certain character, the school teacher. His name was Mr. Shitler. Now, of course, that rhymes with Hitler. The first four letters of the last name, you have a cuss word, and yeah, to this day, I'm surprised they got away with that. And then there was the school principal. He was always funny, because he was so stupid, he'd fall for anything. And of course, they had scenes in, in a dungeon and scenes with the firing squad. The host, Christine McGlade, she, along with all the other kids on that show, were geniuses. She was a genius. I mean, well, as years went by, um, I would come to find out that the factory that had all the episodes recorded burned down and that's why it's not available on DVD today the whole series would be available on DVD DVD today if not for that a few other things I learned years later when YouTube came along I remember watching some episodes on YouTube and I came across one poster who said that his parents wouldn't even allow him to watch that show and I asked him are your parents Christian I were your parents Christian identity adherents <laughs> well and sure enough he wouldn't be the first person not that I'd discover who wasn't allowed to watch that show as a kid back in the 80s at least two I've discovered so far and I'm sure there could be more as an 80s child I will forever be grateful for the memories of that show and also I discovered that even one episode the adoptions episode which was made in 1987 only ran once or twice on Nickelodeon before they pulled it from the air yeah, apparently it went over the line according to what people are posting in the comments section. <laughs> and that episode is available online. You can go watch it and see the comments. Ernest Le Leslie Ernest Lie. He was the grown-up on the show. He played Ross, and he also played the father in the episodes, in the scenes where the living room scenes and kitchen scenes at home with where there were family skits. He's a great guy. It's a tragedy. He's no longer with us. He passed away in 2009. 
Oh. Um, if you missed out on watching that show, I feel sorry for you. If you were born in the 90s or later, do what you can to see this show. See every episode you can, because if not, you're really missing out. And that concludes this video. My tribute to one of Nickelodeon's all-time greatest shows. Thank you, everyone.